Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Chip Talk, a chip channel where I talk about unique chip flavors and where you might find them for yourselves. Today I have an assortment of six different chips, uh, six different flavors from varying brands from J Calbee, to Jack and Jill, Miss Vicky's and Dutch Crunch. Starting from my left to right, we have Calbee Taiwanese beef noodle corn chip. Uh, we have Jack and Jill, which they came up with a chicken and oil flavor. Uh, similarly, from Jack and Jill, we have a spiced pork cube flavor. Dutch Crunch, we have a spicy dill pickle. I'm not a fan of dill pickle normally, but uh, the spicy really got me, so we'll we'll try that out and I'll give you my honest feedback about that. Um, Miss Vicky's Signatures is more of a premium brand from Miss Vicky's, from, from their usual matte colored bag. Uh, they came out with uh, apple cider vinaigrette and shallots. That'll be kind of interesting. And the last but not least here we have a brand that I can't really read Chinese, so I had my girlfriend translate what it actually meant. It says potato, which is kind of just a play on potato. Um, but I picked this up at a, a local shop because I saw that it was uh, Taiwanese popcorn chicken flavor and that always gets my interest. So uh, stay tuned to figure out what that tastes like. So the first one you have here is the Taiwanese beef noodle from Calbee. It's a sort of a, a corn chip from their brand Grilla Corn. Uh, it's kind of just a sub brand. This is what the packaging looks like. Nice little picture of a beef noodle soup there. Looks pretty authentic. In the back. That's a little corn guy there. Yeah, so let's give it an open. I bought this at uh, my local, it's not really a grocery store, it's more of a candy shop. It's literally called Candyland in um, Aberdeen Center in Vancouver here. But I'm pretty sure you can find this at a TNT or any other Asian grocery store. But again, I found this at Candyland. So I've had many chips from um, Calbee Grilla Corn's kind of subline. They're all very good to me. You can't really go wrong. You do, I do get the Taiwanese beef noodle flavor there. It is good. You get that beefiness of the soup as, the, as well as the crunch from the chip. So I'll give the crunch rating of probably like a three out of five. It is, it's not as crunchy as a regular potato chip or like a Dorito corn chip or some of the guys later will be doing kettle chips and they're usually typically very crunchy based on how it's cooked. But uh, yeah, it gets a three out of five. My first impressions is good. Um, I don't think I would buy it again, however, because one, I had to source this at a, uh, um, an Asian grocery store that I, I know that they wouldn't carry it day in, day out, so it might be hard to find. Um, two, the bag is quite small and it costs about $3.50 Canadian, so it's quite expensive for a single bag of chips. And then, honestly, if I wanted a beef noodle soup, I would just buy a beef noodle soup and have uh, a, a full beef noodle soup meal rather than getting it from a bag of chips. But it's good. And I'll finish the bag. Next up we have Jack and Jill, um, the chicken and chili oil flavor. That's what the packaging looks like. Let me show you the potatoes that they use, I guess, made from natural potatoes is what they say. The graphic looks quite nice too, looks like something I would pick up at a grocery store if I were to pick up some. That's what the bag looks like. what the chip looks like. Looks like a nice dark full of flavor chip. Chip to bag ratio I would give it a 3 out of 5. It's pretty good. There's like flames and like two chili oil or two, two chili symbols so my first impression is that it is spicy. Um, a little bit more than I usually like from a chip. It's good for those who can handle spice. I'm, I'm typically a medium person in spice level. It's good. I don't really get much of the chicken. 
And the crunch is pretty mediocre at best. I'll give it a 2 out of 5 in the crunch. But yeah, I don't get much of the chicken. I wonder if that's how this dish is supposed to traditionally taste like. I feel like you should have a bit of that chicken. I just have a mouthful of spices. Yeah, um, I don't like it that much actually. I was kind of disappointed. I like spicy and I like chicken usually. Um, would I buy it again? Probably not. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this Jack and Jill brand to begin with. For those who don't know, it's a, it's a, it's a brand that uh, started in the Philippines. Um, and I have always thought of them as a competitor of Calbee, and I love Calbee chips. But yeah, these are the chili with chicken oil flavor. Next we have Jack and Jill again. We have the spiced pork cube flavor. I guess it's very traditional for spiced pork cubes to be in a can. That's why there's a kind of a can figure here. Same kind of backing as the previous one. Just the all natural potatoes. Pretty plain Jane simple. Keep it in open. This is what the bag looks like. I would give the chip to bag ratio a three out of five as well. A lighter chip from the previous one would be a better one. I bought this in conjunction with the chili and chicken oil just because they were right next to each other. I thought, hey, these are two new flavors that I haven't tried before. Let's give it a go. Um, I don't really know what to expect from this because I don't really buy this canned spiced pork cube. But uh, let's go. Mm. My mouth is like coated with the the chicken chili oil flavor right now, so all I taste is spice still. But let me cut this for a second and let me cleanse my palate. We're back. So we're trying this again, spice pork cube flavor. Hmm. It's not as spicy as the chicken and oil flavor. It's like a salty pork. I don't know if it's something that you'd get from a can, but it's good. Uh, crunch factor would be the, the same, two out of five. It's not that crunchy, but it's actually more delicious than the chicken and oil because the chicken and oil is just straight spice. And then yeah, in my opinion, yeah, they have good marketing and branding. The image looks nice, but I've always thought of them as kind of the the, the runner-up in Asian snack manufacturing to uh, to Calbi. Even the font kind of looks like some of their, their branding, so I don't know if it's a copy. But it's good. I would buy this again. Not the chicken oil one. I would buy this again and probably finish the bag. Next, we have Dutch Crunch Spicy Dill Pilko. I believe this is a relatively new flavor. I haven't seen this before. Um, eh, I am not really a dill pickle person. But what enticed me was the spicy. I like spicy chips. Um, we'll see if the spice masks most of the dill that I'm not a huge fan of. But uh, looks like a pretty typical Dutch Crunch bag. Let's give it an open. I found this at uh, Save On Foods. Pretty big whiff of dill there. Chip to bag ratio, I would say a three out of five as well. Um, it's slightly above the halfway line, and this is what the chip looks like. And I mentioned previously that I'm not a dill pickle type of person usually because the foods that contain dill usually overpower the entire uh, meal that I'm eating and it makes it not as enjoyable. But I hypothesized that the spice will actually mute some of those dill notes and make it a little bit more enjoyable. So we'll see. Um, So exactly as I thought, the spice actually mutes some of that dill and it makes it a lot more enjoyable. I like it. My first impressions is that it's good. I will probably finish the bag, but I don't know if I would buy it again just because the, the dill branding is not, not, not for me, not always for me. Uh, but it is a new flavor, so if you find this at your local Save On Foods Superstore, you could pick this up. If you like dill, this is probably your thing. Um, and of course, 
the crunch factor or the crunch rating would be a four, if not a five out of five, just because we know it's a kettle cooked chip. Uh, for those who don't know, kettle cooked chips are um, potatoes, similar to potato chips, but they're cooked in a very different way. Uh, they're usually fried in larger batches. And so uh, it when you fry them in a larger batch, the oil temperature drops and then it comes back up and it solidifies some of the starches within the potato chip and that's why it becomes harder and crunchier. Um, the kettle cooked potato chips are usually darker and golden and brown in color than regular potato chips if there's no like flavoring on top of it. But yeah, it would get a four out of five, um, on, on, on the, or if not a five out of five on the crunch scale because of food science. Next we have Miss Vicky Signatures. I think Miss Vicky Signatures is a more of a premium line versus your matte looking Miss Vicky's bags like your jalapeno, your sour cream, and the blue one, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, this is what the bag looks like. You have the clear apple vinaigrette, apple cider vinaigrette and the shallots. Looks a lot more premium, looks nicer. Bag, I guess they come with uh, two other flavors as well reading that I can't really see, it, truffle I think and then there's just a salt hickory smoked salt we went with the apple cider vinegar and shallots this time it's certified in Canada it's also a new flavor so let's see what it looks like chip to bag ratio I would say a three out of five as well and it's just about the halfway line we haven't seen many bags of chips where are at the full and we definitely have seen some where it's kind of near the bottom so we give those a lower rating. This is what the chip looks like. And I found this at Save On Foods as well. So again, it is quite crunchy, kettle cooked chip, four to five. Uh, actually slightly less crunchy than the, the Dutch crunch. So I'd probably solid, give it a solid four to five. Um, so our first impressions is that it's quite unique. I've never had a chip like this before. I do taste the apple cider and the, the, the vinaigrette, sorry, apple cider vinaigrette and a little bit of the shallots. Tastes like a fancy chip is what it does. And I guess that's what the branding is supposed to be. So, hey, um, I would give an overall rating of like three and a half out of five. Um, I don't like it that much. It is good, I'll finish it, but I don't think I'd buy it again. And last but not least, we have the brand that I cannot pronounce because it's in Mandarin or Chinese writing. Um, but it translates to potato in English, um, direct translation. Um, the flavor is the Taiwanese popcorn chicken. That's what, to be honest, quite uh, what enticed me to buy this bag of chips. Chip to bag ratio, 3 out of 5 as well. We'll go for that. That's what the bag looks like. Funny looking chip here. First initial impression, I do taste the um, popcorn chicken. It tastes exactly like a popcorn chicken, just minus the chicken. Probably just sprinkled the flavoring on there to be honest. Crunch, it's a very satisfactory crunch. It kind of just melts in your mouth. So I would give it a two out of five, but it tastes really good. I would give an overall rating of four out of five. I would buy this again, but however, similar to the Calbee Gorilla Corn, um, I don't think this is a product that uh, grocery stores or Asian grocery stores would stock day in and day out. So it'll be hard to find. And the bag was quite expensive. I think it was $4 for this bag. And we all know that if you uh, just want your chip fix, you go to uh, any grocery store, save on foods, and you can buy a barbecue bag of chips for like $2 and it'd be twice the size of this. So uh, I'm, a, I'm a quantity type person. I want more volume. I want more chips to last me my, my episode of TV or whatever I'm doing past time that I'm doing in, while enjoying my bag of chips. But uh, I do like it. It's good. Uh, it does taste like popcorn chicken. Well, that concludes episode four of Chip Talk. I really want to thank you so much for staying to the end if you have uh, and for tuning in. Um, again, this is just something that I'm doing for fun. Uh, and so if you enjoyed it or you think you found some sort of value in it, I would very much appreciate some sort of comment, like, whatever people do on YouTube these days. Um, and 
I guess this is something that I've been doing every single week. I'm choosing a winner out of the, the, the five or six that I've been trying. This week was hard. Um, I don't have a clear winner like the last couple weeks. I actually liked the Taiwanese popcorn chicken. The spicy dill pickle wasn't bad either, it was a runner up. Um, and the spiced pork cube flavor was good too. I think I'm gonna eliminate the spicy dill pickle. And I think it's down to these two, the, the popcorn chicken and the spiced pork cube. You know what? I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna give it to the spiced pork cube flavor from Jack and Jill because I don't typically buy Jack and Jill chips. And so it actually wowed me. Um, yeah, so if you're at your local TNT, uh, they might have it at H Mart. Pick this guy up, spiced pork, spiced pork cube, and give it a try. Thanks so much. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, anything. Thanks guys, see you next week.